good? Yeah. Bye, All right. Hello, everybody. Good. All right. Hello, everybody. Thank you. If I could have your attention. So on behalf of Aaron and myself, we just wanted to extend our biggest thank you to each and every person here. Um, throughout this whole process, the past year, we have just felt so loved and blessed by every single one of you. Um, everybody that came alongside us to help us get to this day, it's just been amazing. Um, and we couldn't have asked for anything more. So thank you to each and every one of you. We love you, and uh, let's have a good night. Thank you all for being here. It's always great to spend special times with so many special people to us. So I know everybody has to take time out of their busy schedules, but uh, uh, it's great to see you all here. Also, uh, there's a lot of things that go into this behind the scenes, some of which I'm probably not aware of. <laughs> but there was many, many people that Megan and I would like to reach out to and thank that helped throughout the weeks and a lot of the different things that they helped out with. So that's great. Also, I'd like to give a, a, a great shout out to uh, Mark and Kelly Hassman. What a great job they did raising such a fine young man. And I just want to thank you for that. I want to thank you for that. <laughs> I know how that goes, Mark. <laughs> We are truly grateful that Aaron is joining the Hasman family. So, thank you again. I also have a little toast for Josh and Aaron. This is a very special day for all of us and the easiest way for me to make sense of the events of this day is to relate it to what I know best. In many ways, a handoff is a simple act, a small part of a larger play. But for a successful handoff to take place, trust is necessary between two people. And it is important that the handoff goes well. Because the thing being transitioned is of such high value. Aaron, you know how much I love football. <laughs> But you are much more important to me than that. You are precious to me beyond what you will ever know and beyond anything I can ever express. And for that reason, I am grateful and have the utmost confidence in the man that I am handing you off to. Josh, make sure you hold her high and tight and carry her all the way to the end zone and everything is gonna be all right. And as for that, let's raise our glass and let's all enjoy a nice evening together. Thank you. How do you turn this thing on? Are you gonna turn it on? Okay. Am I good? Okay. Aaron and Josh, it is truly an honor to be standing up here today. Erin, being your sister is a blessing that I hope I never ever take for granted. Sisterhood is something so incredibly special. It is hard to even describe, but Erin, you give the word sister such a beautiful and wonderful meaning. God made us different in so many ways yet we understand each other so well. One example of how we are so different is our personalities. I'm very extroverted and Erin is very introverted. So I get lots of, Lauren, go talk to them for me. <laughs> Josh, you'll get some of those too. Some of our fondest memories, when we would make cooking shows, sitting in our kitchen, we would set up our video camera and we thought that we were um, on Top Chef. We thought that we were gonna go viral. Our cakes didn't turn out so good and I apologize to anybody who is the consumer of our product. 
We got to prom dress shop together and wedding dress shop together. It's a blessing to, share, to have someone to share these special moments with. I remember our lemonade stands from the top of the driveway where there would be no cars and no people in sight, but we'd be yelling, come get your lemonade! Before school in the mornings, when we would share bed, mom would come in and we'd agree, let's hold the sheets as tight as we can so she can't pull them off. <laughs> mom, sorry. <laughs> and it's even a blessing to have shared our money. Erin convinced me when we were little that we would have more money if we put it together. She spent it all. <laughs> So that was short-lived. <laughs> but from day one, when I was born, she would jump in my crib and throw me out because she wanted to play with me. We've shared secrets. We've shared many of laughs, many of cries, vent sessions, memories, and living spaces. When we dropped Aaron off at college, I cried all day. I was sad. These tears that I have today are pure joy because I do not view today as losing my sister. Because let's, re let's be real, that's not really possible. I view today as gaining a brother who is committed to giving my sister the best and happiest life he can possibly give to her. I have seen the ways that Aaron has grown and I've seen the ways that you guys have grown together over the years. It's been an honor to be on this journey right by your side. I admire the way that you allow one another to pursue things that you enjoy. I admire the respect that you have for one another, and I love the way that you prioritize each other's needs. Although I'll miss being able to walk into her room and steal her clothes, Josh, be ready to have absolutely no closet space ever for the rest of your life. You guys need a hers and hers closet. <laughs> you both have given your life to serve a God who is so, so good. He has taught us everything we need to know through the sacrifice of his son. Continue to look towards Jesus as an example of perfect love. As you seek to glorify him through your covenant promise of marriage that you committed to today, Remind each other often that love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy or boast, it is not proud or dishonoring to others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, it doesn't rejoice with evil, but it rejoices with the truth. It always protects, trusts, hopes, and perseveres. Love never fails. Point one another to this great and wonderful God, because that is key to living a purposeful, beautiful, and meaningful marriage. Hey Josh, take care of my sister. She's really special, and I know you will. And hey Aaron, take care of my brother. He's really special. I know you will. Love you guys. No, it's not that bad. <laughs> All right. So it wasn't too long ago that I was sitting up with Sam and, and Josh, and this was after uh, they, they had gotten engaged. And uh, we, we brought up to Josh the, the question, hey, how, how are you going to pick a best man for your wedding with all these close friends you have? You know, that's a tough thing to do. And uh, I, I suggested, I said, well, if you have really close friends like this, I think you have no other option than to choose your brother, just so nobody hurts their, their feelings there. And I looked him straight in the eyes as I said this, because he hadn't thought about this at all. But at that moment, I could see the fear in his eyes, dreading this very moment right here. Um, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Since this moment, we've had uh, many talks about the best man's speech, which have included a lot of threats. Um, talks of a, a monitor to limit my alcohol consumption, which has been going very well, by the way. Um, 
but before I dive into this speech, I'd like to say two things. Number one, uh, it's not going to be nearly as sentimental as Lauren's. I'm sorry about that. Um, and number two, I'm going to try to make it quick because uh, the chaperone is off and Zach is at the bar after this uh, speech, so we're good. All right. Well, I'd like to, I guess, start off by sharing the history of Josh and Aaron uh, through big brother Zach's eyes. Um, you, you may look at Aaron today and, and Josh today, the, the couple, um, and think, wow, they, they go really good together. And you're absolutely right. But let me tell you one thing. They did have a very awkward stage, um, let's just say. Um, and it's been seven years. We've, we've come a long way. Um, but. Aaron and Josh first met, um, well I guess first hung out officially, uh, and you were with Lillian and Austin, which is kind of a cool story both here today, and um, I guess they didn't really talk to one another, I don't know if any words were exchanged, but they were uh, boating and they were, I don't know, not really talking, Lillian was trying to push it, you know, and I think you two threw, you threw them on the tube together, so maybe something would happen, but they were just too shy, too innocent. Um, and uh, I, I'm sure Josh was having a great time, but um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh, apparently Hassmans aren't aren't too good talking to the, the ladies. It's it's tough. I don't know. But everyone knew they they would be uh, good together, and in the, the weeks to follow, they continued to text each other, um, which really just consisted of Lillian writing texts on Aaron's phone, and then those being sent over. Uh, and Josh, I don't know, you had a lot of buddies, but you probably didn't write these yourself either, I would imagine. Um, but that's okay, but you just didn't know how to talk to girls. This was sophomore year, I think, right? Sophomore year high school, um, which was okay, but everybody knew you two were perfect for each other. These two innocent kids um, with you know the kindest hearts, and uh, you guys are really special. So well, hold on, before I get to the sentimental stuff, I think I got some more good stuff in here. <laughs> Uh, fast forward a bit um, to that pontoon ride, I guess, and uh, Aaron came over to the house for our first dinner, um, and uh, this, this time she was, she was a gymnast, an incredible gymnast, and her, her calorie intake was through the roof. Um, so she gets, I don't know what we were having, do you remember what we were having? Pizza. Pizza, okay. So she gets done with her first plate of a hefty pile of pizza, and then she has another plate of pizza. And by her third plate, I look at her and I say, man, this girl can eat. <laughs> of course, that's not something you uh, ever want to say to a female, but I guess just uh, being bad at socializing with females runs in the Hassman family. Dad called mom medium one time, too. That did not go well. I'm sorry for bringing that up, Dad, but she has never let that go. <laughs> Throw you under the bus, my bad. <laughs> But moving along in their relationship, uh, it took many years, uh, but as they, well, I guess about six months was when you guys started speaking full sentences to each other, right? Uh, sorry. No, but here we are, fast forward seven years, and uh, I knew you would both be so perfect for each other. Your innocence, um, and yeah, that awkward phase that you had to go through to truly get to know one another is just one of the many things uh, that make these two perfect for each other, and I, I truly mean that. Um, you will not find two people that are more kind-hearted, um, and it's not at this day and age that you can look at a couple and just know, yeah, these two are gonna make it. These two are gonna make it. I have no doubts in my mind they have an incredible future together, um, and I, I'm 100% confident in that. Josh, the way you treat Aaron uh, is one of the, the greatest things, one of the things I look up to you most for. Um, and I, I know you would stand with her through anything. Uh, and, and you make it so clear how much you, you care about her and, and love her, not through PDA, but how you treat her, thankfully, <laughs> but how you treat her and respect her every day. Um, Aaron, um, oh well, I got one more thing to say to Josh here. Yeah, oh this is all right. Josh, as you take this uh, huge step, just know that I have your back through through everything. Um, and you, you can't pick your family, but uh, I got really lucky, and you're a great brother, and I love you. Love you too. Yeah. Aaron, yeah, thank you. Aaron, please try to keep this man under control. Um, continue to keep God at the center of your relationship, and I have no doubt 
that you two have an incredible future together. I truly mean that. I'm so happy um, to welcome you into our family. And uh, yeah, with that, I don't know what's next, but let's party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, toast, the toast. Yeah, everybody, here we go. This is to Aaron and Josh. I'm out of beer, that's a problem. <laughs>